Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Benny. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing haul. I'm so excited for this because I ordered all of those books. I'm not gonna say weeks ago, but I will say like 10-ish year, years, around like 10 days ago, and I have not opened them. Some of them I did, but because I thought that I was not gonna do this haul, I thought I was going to just buy books. But then I bought too many because I'm moving and where I'm moving, it's going to be hard to ship things and to order things. So I decided to buy some books that it turned out to be too many. I also sold some books, which allowed me to buy more books. So yeah, um, that's for my excuse. And by the way, this is going to be the last haul for a while because... I'm going into a book buying bin and I'm only allowing myself to buy either new releases which I have some some in mind that I want to get so that's why that's an excuse or if I'm getting really into a book that I don't have the second book for I'm gonna get it but only that nothing else only that for at least until my birthday which is June 15th so it's a long time but I can't do it because I literally have so many books that I have to read and I don't need to buy more books the only time Oh, I'm gonna add one if I really really need to for a video That's it and I can't just make make the excuse of like oh, I have to make a video I have to buy that book No, if it's like a very specific thing that I need it then I will if not I don't need it So now let's get into the unboxing because I literally cannot stare at those boxes anymore I need to know what's inside so the first one, I actually already opened it. I have two books in here. Let's see what we got. This is actually really fun. Oh my god, I don't know why I did not do... Well, I know why, because I don't have patience. Okay, the first book that I have here is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Pourdi. I think, I don't know, I'm not sure, but this is the book. And I believe that it is about... A coven of witches which the main character has to enter but in order to take part of this coven she has to kill her soulmate and he has to kill her part of a group where they hate the coven the bone cry criers moon I think it's the name of the coven I'm not really sure but I'm really excited I think this is why if I'm not mistaken I'm really excited for this one this is the first one the second book that I have here is ooh, this woman kingdom by I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce this name. Ta, I'm gonna try though. Tahera Mafi. I'm so excited to read this because the reason why I got it is that I found out that it's, this is actually Persian culture inspired or Persian mythology inspired. I am half Persian. I don't know if she's Persian or not. I know that she is the same author as Shatter Me. I'm very excited to get to know a little more about Persian culture. If there is, if not, I'm just here for the vibes. I had to open this one because I was not very sure if it was a book or not. I'm so excited for this one. I believe I also got the second book, but I don't know where it is. It's We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Faisal? Mm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I literally don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, I should have checked it actually. Okay, let me check. Let me check. I'm Hafsa Faisal. Hafsa Faisal. Okay, that wasn't that hard. Hafsa Faisal. We Hunter Flame. Yes. I am so excited to read this book. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for so long. Once again, I'm not really sure what it's about. I really want to get to it very soon. It looks really fun. And I've heard so many great things about it, but once again, don't know what it's about. I don't, and I don't want to know. I'm just here showing you the books that I got because I see the aesthetic and I'm convinced and I put it on the cart and I buy it. So I have another one right here that I already opened because it, once again, I didn't know that I was doing this video. And it's a Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This is a cowboy romance. I'm really into cowboy romance and I feel like it's one of those books that's like perfect for summer. No, mainly spring because they usually take place in a ranch or in a small town they give spring vibes so I'm really excited for this one also the cover is so cute and this is a romance I don't think it's a YA romance I think there is some spice in it okay now I have this oof, this big box right here so let's get into it and I have the second book in the series the same series which it, it's actually a new release I believe like it came out either 
at the end of February or like this month. It's Swift and Settled by Lilith Sage. Love of the girl. I cannot wait to read about her. I feel like she's a badass and I'm ready for it. The next one that I have is Picking Daisies on Sunday. I think it's set in New York City. Yes, I see the West Village. Fun. And I bought it specifically because I wanted a perfect spring book and the cover is absolutely insane. I'm really excited and it's set in New York City and every single book that I've read that it's set in New York City, I'm obsessed and I love. So I'm really excited for that. The next book that I have here is Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. This is a YA fantasy about two sisters that one was raised as a princess, so in a castle and the other one was raised by witches and when I heard about this story and like this preface I was like sold I'm gonna buy it amazing looks amazing even the aesthetic looks amazing so I'm very excited to get into this one once again I think I'm gonna get into this one really soon because I'm really excited to read it and I don't know why but like I've been loving YA fantasy lately there's like something about it that it just like makes me really happy speaking of fantasies I have the other two of the Poppy's War trilogy because I, I think I want to do a reading vlog of the Poppy War because I am really curious about this series because a lot of people say that it's their favorite series of all time, even like big fantasy readers. So I believe that there's something in here that I will love and since I really want to read it, I got both of them. Once again, don't know much about them. I know that it's like inspired by Chinese mythology, which which I read another book which was inspired by Chinese mythology which is the daughter of the moon goddess and I did not really enjoy that one for multiple reasons but I love the setting so I'm really excited to read the poppy war and then next romance because I've been in my romance kick lately I want to read more romance and I want to have more romance I don't own a lot of romance I own more fantasies because that's my go-to genre I would say and I've heard really great things about yours truly by Abby Aminas and I think it's French to lovers because I really wanted to find a book that was friends to lovers. Every single rom-com that I love, When Harry Met Sally, it's one of my favorites. 13 Going 30, it's one of my favorites. Like every single rom-com that I have as friends to lovers is my favorite. So I wanted to find a book that was a rom-com of best friends to lovers. So and this popped up. I hope it will not disappoint. I've heard really great things about this book and I wanted to know what's the fuss of it. So I'm really excited for this one. Oh my god, it's about to be filled. The last one from the box is Adventure of Amina Al-Sirafi Al 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 by Shannon Chakraborty, I think. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm terrible with this. Did she write Amber in the Ashes? It's the most beautiful cover I've ever seen. Like, look at that. Look at the spine. I'm definitely not gonna break the spine of this one. This is about to fall. Not giving what it's supposed to give. I made this, by the way. But I want to make more of, like, the books that I love or, like, the covers that I love. Because, for example, this I did not finish. And this I did not read. The Prior of the Orange Tree. About the Prior of the Orange Tree, I did order the second one. It didn't come. It was supposed to come yesterday and it didn't come. And if this video goes up after it came, I will insert me opening it right here. Let's go back to this book. The main character is a pirate. Every time that I've seen people talking about it, they say that it's one of their absolute favorite fantasies books. And I've been wanting to read more pirates books. I also wanted another one. I'm gonna get it, even though I'm in a book buying bin, but I really wanted that. And I want to get in more into rich fantasy. Like, not that all the other fantasies I didn't enjoy, I really did, but I really want more complex world. This is one of them that I've seen a lot of people recommending, and I love pirates. Okay, next I have here, oh, it's a new book of the same author of We Hunt the Flame, so I really wanted to get it because it's about a he's. People compare it to Six of Crows, and Six of Crows is one of my absolutely favorite fantasy series so when I heard it I was really excited but it also has vampires in it. I followed this author on TikTok and Instagram and I really really love her content and I love her. She seems such a sweetheart so I wanted to support and people say that this is a really good book so obviously I'm really excited for this. This is a new, oh my god, this is a new release. I'm actually really happy because 
I'm so behind on the popular book. So every time that a book can't comes out, I can never be like excited about it because one, I forget when the releases happen. Two, I didn't read the previous one. So every time that a release comes, I'm not into big fuss of the release. So I'm just like left out. So I'm excited that I could take part of the new release of this author, um, even though I did not read the other book. So it doesn't really make sense what I just said. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> eyeing this book for so long. It's a wedding realm and if you don't know I currently live in Rome. I will be moving next week actually but this is not the realm that I'm living in. I live in Rome, Italy. I think this is Rome, Kentucky. It's a small town romance and I believe she's a celebrity so like it's a celebrity small town romance and I'm really really excited for this. I have never read anything by Sarah Adams and I'm very excited to get into it. Okay how do I open this? Ooh, this is packed. What is this? Oh, City of Brass. Oh my god, so excited. Okay, City of Brass by, yes. Okay, City of Brass is the same author as the pirate story here, right here. Markets of 18th century Cairo. This is a really fun setting, and I'm really excited. Well, it's gonna stay here. In the markets of 18th century Cairo, thieves and tricksters, con artists and outcasts ache out a living of swindling rich nobles and foreign invaders alike. But alongside this new world, the old stories linger. Tales of Dijin and spirits of city hidden among the swirling sands of the desert. Full of enchant desire and riches where magic purse pours down every street, hanging in the air like dust. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh no. Why did they make the font this small though? That is annoying. But I'm excited for this. I've been wanting to own this book for so long, so I'm happy. Why did they wrap it up in plastic? So the other book that we got here is Funny You Should Ask. What happened? Oh my god, why is it broken? Oh, I think I bought it used. Look at here. It's kind of effed up. That's sad. Well, whatever. I don't care that much. But Funny You Should Ask. I honestly got this book because of the cover. I'm going to be honest. Um, I also think this is a celebrity romance where he's the actor, I believe, and she is something else or the opposite. But I'm not really sure what it's about. I mainly, as I said, got it for the cover because it's gorgeous and pink and I like it. Very easy read, so. Also another rom-com. I've been in my rom-com kick I want more rom-coms so what is it oh oh my god this is the last one that I actually ordered and it's in a jam by Kate Canterbury I don't know why but every time that I see this cover and I read the author's name I'm I'm like I always think that her name is cranberries anyways in a jam this is also a romance and it's a small town romance where she goes back to her small town and but I've heard really great things and once again I was looking for some spray vibes and I think that this is the perfect book for literally spring vibes. So, yeah, the cover is gorgeous and I'm very excited for this. Okay, we got another rom-com and it's The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. So she's also the author of The Seven Year Slip and this actually came out before The Seven Year Slip but I was really excited for this one because I think she used time travel because also in The Seven Year Slip there was like a time travel aspect and I think also this one is a time travel. I don't know what it is about or anything. I just wanted to read more of her books because I love The Seven Year Slip and I wanted to give this a try. The next one that we have is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter. I'm so excited for this because it's set in Martha's Vineyard and I'm so excited. It looks so good. This is literally the perfect book for summer and I wanted to get more books for summer so that you know, I'm good for the summer. We're good for the summer. The last one here is The Things We Never Got Over, another romance y'all i'm i'm in it with the romance <laughs> it is another uh small town romance i love small town romance if you couldn't tell and i think it's like grump, grumpy sunshine this part of a series and i'm really excited to read it literally everybody and their mother already knows about this book and already read it and i'm very late to the game but i'm really excited to get into this one and 
see what I think about it. Once again, another perfect spring book or summer book. I'm so happy that I got so many romance because I, I'm always out of them. Like I never have enough romance to choose from because I always buy fantasy. <laughs> so this is the last box. Let's open this. The mess that I made here, insane. Okay, I have two books. Let's see the first one. Oh, I forgot that I bought this one. Okay, fun. Okay, okay. So the first one is Vow of Thieves by Mary Pearson. I already read the first one and I really liked it and I wanted to own also the second one because it's literally a duology. So I'm, I have to finish it. I'm in the middle of so many series, so I'm really excited to read it, but I don't understand why I make the fonts so little. I'm literally already dyslexic. I have a really bad vision. This is literally hell, but I'm excited to read it. Nonetheless, I really love the first one, so. And then the last one that I got here is the second one. Be free the star, tell me that. Okay, okay. I thought they were gonna be different, but they're not. They're the same height. Okay, I just almost had an art attack. We Hunt the Flames, same thing. I really want to read both of them because I really want to see what the fuss is about. I'm really excited and like the covers are just like gorgeous. Like look at that. I don't have space so I'm just gonna put it up here. Okay. Now we got this one right here. Let's get into it. Shall we? The first book that I see here is none other than People We Meet on Vacation. I bought this in the bookstore here in Rome and I bought this and also another book. I'm going to show you it later but I now own every single Emily Henry books. Did I read them? No. I hope I will love them. <laughs> I hope so. I really hope so. But I want to challenge myself and actually read all of her books this year because also the other one, Funny Story, I think it's coming out soon. So I really want to read it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read them before that one comes out, but I really want to challenge myself to read them all because I'm going to have an Emily Henry summer and I'm really excited for that. This one is the only one that I had missing and I really wanted to get it so I'm happy that I got it. Also look at the floppiness of this book. Just perfection. Okay, let's put it right here. And the other one that I also got in the same the same time that I got that one is If He Had Been With Me. I already read this one because I'm currently filming a video and I specifically bought that for that video. And I'm gonna, not gonna tell you a lot about it, but um, yeah, I was really excited to get into this one. I've seen so many people sob and I wanted to sob too, but, but I'm, I was really excited and it was cute. So, okay, the next one that I got to finish a trilogy, and that is A Curse of for True Love. And this is the third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. I was really excited to get the third one. It's literally gorgeous. I literally made a chip from the UK because I needed this cover and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm really excited and really happy that I have it in my hands now. I recently read the second one. I'm really excited to get into this one, but I'm so sad to let the characters go. Then I also have here a trilogy. I'm just going to show it to you guys together because why not? Not. also got the entire dreamland billionaire series because I read the first book and I really really liked it and I wanted to get all all of them together because first of all the covers are cute and second of all sometimes you just need that good spicy story about billionaires and this does the job I'm very excited to get into the second one because it's the people's favorite and I want to see why okay speaking of series I also got in one of my recent videos I I was reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and it has been one of my favorite thrillers mysteries in a long long time so obviously I had to get the second and the third one Good Girl Bad Blood and As Good as Dead and I'm very excited to get into the third one because people are like what is happening and I want to be like what is happening okay we have other three books here so let's get into it the first one that I got is Darling Venom I already read this it's one of my five stars in have the physical copy because I read it on my Kindle and I really really enjoyed it I thought about like getting it or not but I'm like since I'm doing this YouTube thing I feel like I need it because I need to recommend them and I think holding a book it's better so that's the only reason why I got it but I love the cover 
so much and this story is so dear to my heart and I'm very happy that now I own the physical copy. I literally need to annotate this book because I have so many annotations on my Kindle and I just need to annotate them. So the next one that I have here is Prison Healer by Linat Nori. I've heard great things about this. I think it's a YA. Yes, back to YA fantasy. I am not really sure what it is about once again, but I'm very excited to read it. So it's part of a trilogy. This is the first book and I'm very excited to read it. Then the last one, Those Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling but it's set in Shanghai, I believe, yes, in the 1920s. And it just looks so good and so interesting and I'm so excited. This is also part of a trilogy, I believe, or duology. I'm not really sure. And we're done, y'all. Whatever. We're done. So those are all the books. Shall we count them? I was never able to count them. So let's see how many I got. <laughs> I'm very sorry for my bank account. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 32, 33 because one is coming. Oops. 3 is my favorite number. 33 is cool because 33, three, right? I don't know. Anyway. Oh well. I'm going in a book buying bin now, so it's fine. It's fine. I'll never be depressed again. I'll never be depressed. If you know that audio on TikTok, <sighs> we're done with this haul. My room is a mess right now. My cat woke up, so I need to give him some love. And the, ch the cart is filled to the brim, literally. Oopsie. Um, I'm so happy to see all my books now. They've been in boxes for a long time. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All my social medias are down below if you want to keep up on the other platforms. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!